everybody. So here I am going to be removing the flywheel from this 1991 Mercury 25 horsepower two-stroke engine. So what I'm doing now is there are three bolts on either side. Um, this is the pull start kind of hat, and it also has a fuel filter attached to it. And as you can see here, I need to remove the two hoses that go to that fuel filter in order to remove the whole thing. So I'm just cutting off the zip ties that are on there and I have this little cloth to catch any excess gasoline that may be in those hoses so it doesn't get all over my floor and there we go now that is gone I've put that in a different room just so my whole house doesn't smell like two stroke it's uh, very cold here in Rochester so now you'll see me struggle for a minute to remove the actual flywheel bolt and that's because I didn't think it was gonna be on there nearly as tight as it was. So I go and I grab an impact. Um, then you're going to see me come back here and it quickly comes off. So the bolt is off now. And now you see the issues. I'm trying to actually just remove the flywheel. And I thought as soon as the bolt was removed, it would come right off. And that was certainly not the case. And so for the next, you know, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, you're going to see me just use a bunch of different tools to try to pry this thing off. I thought it was just a little corroded on there. It'd be no big deal. No, it's, it was very, very on there. Um, so eventually I do go and pick up a uh, flywheel puller uh, from Harbor Freight. It was about 15 bucks. I'll link it below. But essentially everything you're seeing here is just an absolute fail. But I thought I'd leave it in just because I think it's pretty funny, actually. And I wasted a lot of time. And so you'll see I go get a hammer and I've got a little microfiber cloth and I try hitting either side of the flywheel with it. And, you know, just overall trying to loosen it up because I thought that would, you know, just break the rust and whatever it was out. And that just certainly did not work. So here you'll see I have the flywheel puller um, and I'm just installing it the way you would any other kind of puller. Um, essentially, there's two screws on either side and you use the middle piece to screw down on the actual shaft and it should pop the flywheel off. I thought that I wasn't getting enough torque out of my impact. That wasn't the case. I actually had a bit on there that was a little bit too wide and was actually hitting the flywheel and not just the shaft. So I switch it up. I go with a little smaller point um, and I use the impact and shortly here um, oh, right. I'm sorry. I, I thought, again, the impact wasn't given enough beans. So I go to the biggest thing I had lying around, which was this torque wrench that I picked up the other day. Um, you'll see that here very shortly. I'm probably looking for like a deep drive socket or something like that. Yeah, I was. Yep. Didn't work at all. And so then I go back to the impact. I'm like, man, I don't know, uh, what's going on here. Boom. There it goes. Flywheels off. I simply take the puller off. And we're done. That's how you remove the flywheel. All right. So here's just another closer look on what the flywheel looks like removed. There are two holes there that the puller connects to and the shaft is in the middle. Uh, on the other side, you can see where it was mated to the actual shaft. I just simply cleaned it up a little bit with the wire brush, uh, knock some of that rust off just for reinstallation. I'll probably hit it with some brake clean or something like that. Right here, I'm just showing you the four screw holes. I know you can see them, but regardless, that's where the ring is gonna go for the electric start and attach. And here, I'm just gonna show you again how I use the puller. It wasn't super easy to see before, but essentially you slide this larger shaft down the middle, you thread it in, and then you put this little kind of tip on it. I had a tip that was a little too big on the other one, so it was actually hitting the sides of the flywheel. That was my issue. And then you can see I'm just inserting these two bolts. And what's gonna happen is when you crank down on that center screw, it's going to pull up on the other two screws and push down on that main you know, center shaft that's part of the engine, and it'll pull your flywheel out. So as you can see here, when you had an impact or something like that, you would simply keep screwing that down and it would, this is already loose, but it would pop right off and you're done. 